Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss what is a scalar field. I want you to give you the definition and the basic example. So the first, let's start with R2. And R2 is some region when we're going to define our scalar field. So R2, in other words, is just Cartesian coordinates in X, Y. And then we're saying that uh, V is a scalar field. If we can write V as a function f in terms of x and y. So basically what we're doing, for each point on our graph, uh, if we're going to take some value, for example, x0, and we're going to take value of y0, at this point we're going to find the value of the scalar field f of x0 and y0. And for different points, we're going to move our point to the left, to the right, and y to the left, to the right, we're going to get our different values for our function. Uh, this is the definition of the scalar field. Uh, the another definition I want to give you, I want to give you the tr a trace. A trace uh, of a uh, scalar field. Of a scalar field. Let's S. And what is a trace of scalar field? The trace is a path in 2D. And again, like I'm talking about scalar field in 2D, but you can define scalar field like in 1D, 3D, go to higher dimension. But basically, traces are the value, of, uh, are the path in our domain such that uh, the value of this function, this path, is going to be constant. So we're saying that uh, we have a trace of scalar function if uh, f of x, y equals some constant. So basically what I'm saying, uh, let's assume we have f of x0 and this is going to be our trace in our domain. Uh, let's say this is equal, for example, to 2. And this is going to be trace when our function equals to 1. This is trace when our function equals to 1 half. And you can see our region is going to be consist is a union of traces. Yeah, so we discussed the scalar field. So scalar field is just a scalar function. Uh, where at each point we define some value and we, defi and we define it as a trace. Trace are the path in 2D such that our function is going to be constant on this path. Okay, and let's discuss some concrete example. Let's take uh, some function, uh, let's say uh, scalar field of f of xy equal x plus y. Uh, so, we have Cartesian coordinates, and let's find just a couple of points of our scalar field in 2D. When x and y equals to 0, so it means here, our value of our scalar function is going to be equal to 0. Yeah? When x is going to be equal uh, to 1, let's say here, x is equals to 1 the value of our scalar function is going to be equal to 1. So, scalar value of our scalar function here is 1. And when y is equal to 1, the scalar function is also going to be equal to 1. And then by just taking some points, you can find the values. But we are not interested sometimes in the one particular value. We are more interested in the map of the scalar function. Or in other words, we are interested in traces. And how are we going to find the traces for this function? Uh, I'm going to say uh, let's make, I will use definition, and by definition is a trace when my scalar function is constant. So my scalar function is x plus y, and let's say it's equal to some constant uh, which we want to use, like n. And then I want to find uh, the path or the graph of this function. And you can see this function is actually equal y equal n minus x where n is uh, the value of a uh, scalar field. And we see, let's say the value of our scalar field is n equals to 0. And when n is equal to 0, I have my graph, my trace, y equal negative x. And this is exactly what I get for this point. 
when uh, y equals to zero, this is uh, for n equals to zero. I have y equals negative x. If I will get that uh, n equals to one, I will get that my trace is going to be one minus x. And this is exactly what I get, that my trace is going to look like this, y minus x. And then so we can see that uh, the traces for our scalar field are going to be uh, lines y equal uh, n minus x. So this is going to be the map of our traces. Okay, so what we just did, we discussed a basic example. And in a future video, what, what I want to discuss, I want to discuss the idea of the gradient. We can take any trace and we can find the maximum rate of change. And the maximum rate of change is going to be the gradient of our scalar function.